second receiver that we're going to talk about here, Davis, was the butt of a lot of jokes in the first half of last year as Robbie Anderson had a rough first half of 2021. Not a lot of targets, not a lot of touchdowns. And naturally, you know, he's kind of at the point here where it's like there's a chance, I think, that Marshall could pass him in terms of targets and yards and catches. But he did end up scoring five touchdowns, bailing people out down the stretch as he started to get a little bit more active in the offense. He had 519 receiving yards, and his ADP is 172. So this is like a late-round pick. No one is planning on starting Robbie Anderson going into the fantasy football season. Maybe he's your wide receiver four or or a late three, but essentially we've seen so much of him over the last few years. Why should we think anything different going into the season? Yeah, I mean, I think, unfortunately, Robbie Anderson is probably the worst fit for Baker Mayfield than DJ Moore is. You know, if you look at the guys who had success in Cleveland and the guys who didn't, of course, we all remember uh, Odell Beckham Jr.'s father making the video of Odell Beckham Jr. running free and Baker Mayfield not throwing in the ball. And then Odell goes to the Rams and has a bunch of success running down the field, running those same routes. And, you know, I mean, part of that, I think, was that Baker was playing injured. Part of that is, you know, I mean, we, we talk about that that awful weather. Do you remember all those wind games in 2020 in Cleveland? Mm-hmm. But Baker is just not going to be as effective throwing the ball down the field. Those are the types of routes that Robbie Anderson runs. Now, will Robbie maybe have a couple games this season where, you know, he has four targets, two receptions, and two touchdowns? Certainly. You know, that's kind of just always been his game. I'm not really aggressively targeting Anderson at all, mostly because I just don't see, I see no path for breaking out, right? So he's heading into his age 29 season. I basically see no chance of him becoming like the guy you need to have to win your league. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe he goes crazy in week 17 or something, but he's got one 1,000 yard season in his career. He's got 28 touchdowns on 628 targets. You know, he's, he's a fine player. He's a contributor. And there will be worse guys that I will have on my fantasy teams this season Mm -hmm. than Robbie Anderson. But I would imagine this Panthers offense is just going to be really largely dominated by two guys. And that's DJ Moore and Christian McCaffrey. You know, not going to surprise me if those guys score like 60% of the available skill position fantasy points on this team. They're just, they are, they get the ball so often and they are just so much better than their teammates.